Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel, Serious About Stars. My name is Jay. I'm an astrologer and intuitive channeler. This video here is your timeless reading. So whenever it is that you are coming across this video is when there is some kind of message in here for you. And it could be just one thing that you were brought here to receive and it could be the entire reading. So take it as it resonates, Scorpio, leave the rest. Um, I have meditated on your energy. I've pre-pulled some cards and we'll pull more cards live and on camera at the end. So stick around for that. Um, Scorpio, um, now your meditation, the downloads that I received for you were pretty heavy, uh, pretty intense. Um, yes. So I don't know if this video or the, this reading really is for, um, if it's gonna be for everyone or not, but Scorpio, if you have been um, really going through something and um, something about the self, something about the self um, inside, um, I feel, I just wanna say up front that this video is for anyone that has um, been maybe like rejecting a part of themselves, um, leaving a almost, leaving a part of himself behind in order to cope with something or make something more fun or light. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there, but real quickly before we get further into the video, um, I did just want to say, give this video a thumbs up if you find yourself enjoying what I have to share with you or if you find this helpful. And also subscribe to the channel, Serious About Stars. Um, other than that, Scorpio, I do also recommend watching these videos for your sun sign as well as your rising sign, but we'll get uh, further into the energy here, Scorpio. So um, yeah, um, from the start of the meditation for you on your energy, it was almost like the, the first kind of message was almost like this, almost forgetting yourself, almost leaving yourself behind, like about you're about to like head out the door and you've forgotten yourself, like you are not with yourself. It's almost like there's this, I feel that for somebody there's this almost like ghost version of yourself like your your inner child just i don't know behind the door um your own inner child um that just wants love that just wants love like you because that is you um scorpio i feel the need to to tell somebody you know I mean, I feel like, okay, I feel like somebody has gone through a really, really rough time or some kind of a trauma. And in order to, to cope with that, I feel like somebody wants to keep things afloat, keep things good, keep things positive, keep things light, keep going, keep going. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But Scorpio, you have gone through something, you've really, really been going through something and, and maybe there are wounds, maybe there is this hurt and there is this need to heal. And I feel like somebody doesn't want to go through that, wants to keep having fun. So those parts that are, I feel like somebody thinks broken or um, like badly wounded, leaving that behind because that's, that's gonna be some kind of a burden. Scorpio, don't be the person that, that makes yourself feel unloved um yeah it is, it is like that because you are important you are important you are self inside your soul love yourself be somebody that you care deeply about be that be some be somebody that you care deeply about um, tend to these wounds, whatever it is, if it's, you know, I feel like for a lot of people, this is emotional. This is, this is emotional. Um, some kind of, um, a lot of emotions going on needs healing. The thing is, if you walk out that door and, and you leave so much of yourself behind, um, unclaimed or rejected, um, you're going to eventually have to circle back around, but you have an opportunity still to save yourself that trip, save yourself that trip by by embracing yourself, having this, this unconditional love for yourself. 
not, you are not a burden. You are not a burden. You just need a little bit of healing and you got to be that person to make that effort and to um, heal these wounds because if you don't, you're eventually going to have to, but you have an opportunity here to just embrace yourself and love yourself. And I don't know, Scorpio, I don't know, but it's almost like there's this conscious decision that needs to be made to, to choose this unconditional love for yourself. It's almost like maybe somebody has been um, holding on to something else, holding on to, holding on to a different kind of emotion, um, like a stubbornness about something. If you've been, I don't know, stubborn about something, like you've been wanting to make something else work, there's this conscious decision to choose yourself. Choose yourself, love yourself. That's all it is. That's all it is. And it's like, it, like it might seem, it might seem like that's so hard right now because of everything that might entails, but that's actually the most liberating thing that you can do. Scorpio, I'm just going to look through my notes, make sure I'm not missing anything I wanted to share with you guys before we get into the cards here. Um, yeah, but it's like, it's like this wound um, that needs, and it's like, okay, I, okay, I'll, yeah, I did feel that for somebody, there's some kind of, there might be certain um, actual physical items um, around you that remind you of something, um, like, or might remind you of your childhood, or remind you of, I don't know, something, but something behind a door in a box, in a closet, um, certain items that actually kind of really are going to remind you of yourself but but maybe the things that are attached to these things the memories that are associated with these things are really really uncomfortable could even be like triggering in a sense um but i feel scorpio like there is a need to to go and look at this um have a good cry have a good cry it's like it's like washing a wound you know that that's that can be very painful to wash a wound um but it's better than letting it fester um i feel like there's this need to embrace the self to find the self there's this i don't know the self that maybe you've almost like kind of forgotten there's this like forgetting don't forget yourself love yourself scorpio okay um, I think that was pretty much everything from the um, meditation. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the cards that um, have already been pulled. So I asked for some underlying themes that could be going on beneath the sur surface for you, Scorpio. The first card that came out was growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. This could be a huge time of growth for you. What you're going through, this is for your growth. Not just your healing, but your growth. You are growing so much through this, expanding so much through this, expanding whether it's your mind or your your um, feelings, your heart, your heart chakra, opening that heart chakra, expanding this this love. Um, however, however that resonates for you and your your own personal situation, something is growing. Um, and you know when things grow, you know they also they also need water and sunlight. Um, so take care of yourself. There's this need to, to take care of yourself, water yourself, tend to yourself, um, prioritize yourself, like intentionally intentionally grow. If you want to intentionally grow, how would you do that? Also balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. This could be a time too where, where things are being balanced out and as things are being balanced out and things are growing and being balanced, um, it can be a little off. It's like maybe one side's up, one other side's down and then it switches and it might be hard to find balance right now. It might be difficult, but this, this process is getting you to a place of achieving much, achieve, achieving a much greater balance, much greater balance. This is the kind of thing that you'll look back on later um, from a new lens, 
a new perspective and be glad that everything happened as it did. Also relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So I feel that relationships could um, really hmm, be challenged right now even. Um, be challenged, be going through growing pains. Maybe relationships are growing and being balanced. Um, certain relationships that might be under a certain scrutiny or pressure, or there might be anger coming up for some of you um, in certain relationships. And there might be this need to release and forgive, forgive, forgive others, forgive that person, um, even and maybe even forgive yourself. Um, but yeah, I feel forgiveness being really important here in relationships. All right, Scorpio, I did um, pull a card for um, an angel message for you. So my intention here is to channel messages directly from your angels for you. Um, the card that you got was number nine, health. And I'll show you that card there. Um, in case there's anything in there that you notice that speaks directly to you. Um, but yeah, I will read the message that this card comes with. Now is an opportune time to focus on your health. You have been living life at a hectic pace for some time and it would be wise to take a break and allow yourself to relax and rejuvenate. Give thanks for the health of your body and mind and remember to make your health a high priority in the coming months. And Scorpio, you can say to yourself if you'd like, each and every one of my cells is constantly regenerating and radiating light. I attune to the divine love within me and let it flow through every cell of my body I breathe in life and the energy flows freely within me. I am eternal youth, eternal health, eternal light. All right, and I also pulled a spirit animal card for you guys. The card that came out here was giraffe. The bigger picture. Take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings. You know, with this card too, it's about having a much higher perspective. Um, you know, you know, even like accessing your intuition a little bit more um, and also like acceptance and also just knowing that things are going to be okay. Things are being good. It's like seeing from this, this higher perspective, this aerial view down on your life and you are you're where you are, you know, but it's, it's being able to know that you are still going through this process, going through these emotions, going through these emotions, emotions. Um, but also at the same time, having this other perspective from up high, you know, knowing that everything is going to be okay. Maybe, maybe this is about like your, you know, your, your higher self in general, like um, connecting with, you know, and your angels and knowing that you came here for a purpose and, and no, at no place in your life are you really like out of bounds or, or off your true path because every, everything is in some way divinely guided. Um, you chose this life for a reason, okay? Um, even if you get to see that, that reason, um, you know it's there and you know you're getting there and you know that whatever is happening is going to be okay, even if it doesn't feel like it at the time. Know that there is a bigger picture. There is a bigger picture and even if you can't always see it in front of you, it's there. Allow, I don't know, allow yourself to take that step back and gather your thoughts and feelings and maybe start to see that bigger picture. All right, Scorpio, I did also pull some um, cards um, for love life, relationships, whether uh, whether these are romantic or platonic. Take it as it resonates, only as it resonates. You know, allow your intuition as well to kind of guide these uh, messages into whatever actual relationships they speak to in your life. You know, some cards could um, be about, you know, like a romantic relationship and some could be about a relationship with like a family member, a sibling, um, a friend, um, different things. So the first card that came out was romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. 
this card actually came out in reverse so i feel like there is this need to as you have maybe certain thoughts or emotions feelings take a take a, a second to to ask yourself um if these thoughts or these emotions or these feelings are real um i feel i feel like um there could be somebody out there in this part this little little whip of what i'm saying um might not be for everybody but i feel like somebody is um maybe going through having a lot of different emotions a lot of different thoughts a lot of different things going on right now and maybe some of these these things that you're picking up on aren't really your own emotions or maybe somebody else's so there is a need to to take that minute and reassess ask yourself um are these feelings real and worth exploring is something worth exploring to you you know don't just take somebody else's word for it you know um be able to to consult with yourself you know and your intuition um because a lot you know a lot happens a lot of thoughts a lot of emotions so yeah just you know um check in with yourself you know check in with yourself um yeah okay um getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens um scorpio you could be getting to know somebody and this could be also this could really speak to um other friendships or relationships with family um like kind of like getting to know somebody all over again getting to know somebody more maybe maybe somebody needs to not assume that they already know someone maybe there are are more layers more levels to this relationship and you are beginning to unfold those levels so maybe have an openness to um somebody yeah i don't know i feel like there's need a need to have be open more open in a, in a relationship um there's more to somebody than meets the eye the card very soon also came out clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now you know scorpio um set your intentions set your intentions maybe maybe um kind of write down certain things certain maybe goals that you have even or just certain things that you want maybe goals in relationships right now write these things down let these things be i don't know something about like a bottom line um i don't know um have like i don't know these intentions or these goals like I don't know I just I kind of feel that somebody out there is kind of all over the that something is all over the place maybe a relationship is all over the place and every minute it's it's like changing something's changing and there's maybe there's this like grounding that needs to occur in a relationship or um maybe not necessarily just in the relationship but maybe in um I don't know like almost your own perception of the relationship I don't know interesting um but yeah clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now let your friends help you ask for and accept help from others connect with people talk to people and chemistry there is a strong magnetic magnetic attraction here mm -hmm. and separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Um, and this also came out with let go of control issues. So um, Scorpio, I feel that there might be certain connections that um, are going through massive changes, upheavals, um, maybe separation. Um, and there is this need to to let it go to let it be to understand that you don't have control over the situation and um rest there's this rest there's this healing um there's this i don't know i'm getting this like appreciation too there's this appreciation as well um 
interesting i want to show you these cards um kind of like this it's interesting because in this card there's like you know this little i don't know what that is kind of moving up the room <laughs> and then the same kind of thing here an another kind of um movement i don't know i'm feeling like a cycle here maybe there is a cycle here going on um a cycle being challenged um but i feel like there is this this there's this courage and there is this strength that you have scorpio and um your strength and your courage will be rewarded the last card that came out for our love life bliss retreat it's time to disconnect from the world yeah you know, set some things down, like let go of certain things and maybe just have like this heart to heart conversation, this little heart to heart journey with somebody. You know, how let be be in the present moment with somebody, you know, without any distractions. I don't know. Love too, like I'm getting kind of like reigniting this this love. Um, with somebody hmm. all right Scorpio so with this part of the reading we'll go ahead and pull some cards live and on camera so um, go ahead and just bring up to the surface whatever you have on your heart or your mind um, you can you know say it out loud or in your mind whatever feels right to you and we'll get one more shuffle here Okay. All right, Scorpio, what's going on? All right, what card was that? Okay. Five of Water. So this is also the Five of Cups. Um, there might be something that's just kind of painful right now. Some kind of a loss even some kind of a maybe even maybe somebody feels like something like knocks the wind out of you like this makes it hard to breathe i don't know i'm picking up on that for somebody um but there's this blessing in disguise just because it couldn't really have gone any other way like if this didn't happen if this this thing did not happen that is causing this pain it would have had its own um that it not happening would have had i'm getting worse issues like worse worse challenges than than this something has gone bad i don't know i don't know um just because like in the original tarot deck this card is depicted by um a woman and there's you know five cups and um three of those five cups have knocked over. I don't know if it's three up and two down or three, something like that. Certain cups have been knocked over and it's looking down at these cups that have been knocked over and poured out, not seeing the two cups still behind you. But the thing is that the, the cups that fell over, there was actually poison in them. You didn't want them anyway, but you couldn't have known it. And you don't know what is you still have because you're still, looking at this and you have to because uh, there is this th there is this maybe um, somewhat of a grieving this having to to be in the present with this and, and I, I see you doing that I see you doing that and I see you healing Scorpio um I do feel suddenly intuitively that there is um help somebody is there to help you and you have support in whatever you're going through okay what else what else Scorpio oh. all right seven of water seven of cups so a lot of water energy coming out here um I feel like this is about choosing you. This is about 
there might be all there might be a lot of distractions and a lot going on in your life right now there could be seeming like a lot of like options and a lot of different ways to go about something and a lot of um i don't know options of how to do this but i something about being yourself just being you your authentic self um not giving in to certain um I don't know, certain, not giving into something, but it's okay to like observe. It's okay to look at these things like in this card. I don't know if you can see it very well, but she's looking up at like these different options, these different fish and these different things. She's in the center, you know, this is her life. This is your life. Um, it's okay to, to look and see these things, even if they're just like distractions, but know that at the center of this, it's, it's you. Um, it's gotta be you. you, you gotta be you, you know, you can't be anyone else. You gotta be you. Um, all right, Scorpio, what else? 10 of water, 10 of cups. So Scorpio, everything you ever wanted is, 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 still yours like is coming into fruition even if it doesn't feel like it right now and I, I feel like a lot of you actually know a lot of you actually have this just knowing this inner knowing that um everything is going to work out and knowing that everything is going to work out is your best ally it makes it happen it brings it into fruition you know whatever it is Whatever it is that, I don't know, you want for your future or more than anything. Um, like, imagine that. Like, when you see this card, imagine what it is actually that you want being portrayed here. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Something about picturing it. Something about, because you draw it, maybe draw what you um, want. Paint what you want. I don't know. Something about something about you know taking do manifesting your your desires maybe this is about making a dream board but just know that it's a yes everything everything's going to be good everything you ever wanted um is coming to you and it might not just have it just might not happen in the way that you thought or the way that you planned or in the way that made sense okay scorpio we're going to get one final card to close this reading here for you It's the Ace of Fire. Hmm. I feel like it's happening. Something, something is happening. Maybe something is being initiated. Something is being initiated with, within you. Maybe these things that have been going on that have not been so comfortable are almost like waking you up, like, like lighting like a candle, light, like lighting a candle within like waking you up like waking you up to to your purpose or your passions you know pushing you to to achieve greater to do what you're really here for i don't know but i'm getting this this initiation energy coming through with this this ace of fire this ace of wands um but yeah i don't know i'm getting this this yeah, this, this fire, like embracing this inner fire within you. Um, I don't know, but it's a really warm, like good energy. I feel like this is actually going to feel really good. This is going to feel warm. It's going to, you're going to feel this, I don't know, this love and this passion. It's going to be awesome, Scorpio. Okay. All right. I think that will close your reading. Um, thank you for watching, Scorpio. I hope that you have a great day and come again to the next reading. I'll see you then. Bye.